Okay, for this video, uh, I've prepared a wooden baffle, which I will fire one round from each of the guns into the wooden baffle. The baffle elements are pine wood scrap. Each board is approximately one inch in diameter or one inch in thickness. Uh, most of them are about two inches apart. Uh, hopefully you can read that. And what I'll do is I'll fire one shot from each gun into the boards so that we can see how deep each caliber will penetrate in pine wood. I will begin the firing test with a 25 automatic. It's a browning. The ammunition used is Winchester Full Metal Jacket. Put my hearing protectors on. First shot. The bullet penetrated the first board. The bullet stopped in the second board. That means the Browning 25 is capable of penetrating one inch of pine wood. I will fire a second shot just to confirm. Second shot blew through the first board, the bullet embedded in the middle of the second board. I'll now move up to 32 ACP. This is a Colt model 1903. Ammunition being used is Winchester Full Metal Jacket. Bullet entered just above the 25 bullet hole, penetrated the first board, completely penetrated the second board, did not fully penetrate the third board. I will again fire a second shot to confirm. This bullet penetrated the first board, blew a hole in the second board, did not penetrate the third board. We'll now move up to the 380. This is a Remington Model 51 caliber 380. 380 penetrated the first board, blew through the second board did not completely penetrate the third board. A second shot will be made to this side to confirm. Well, it went through the first board, went through the second board. Blew through the third board. Here, Incidentally, those bullets that did not penetrate. Here is the 380 bullet. Here's the 32 bullet. I believe this is a 25 bullet. So I have three different recovered bullets. I will now move up to 9mm Luger. In the interest if someone's saying these boards were weakened, I'm going to flip this around. So we're starting with fresh wood for a 9mm Luger. Okay, we definitely had some penetration here. 9mm Luger went through first board, second board, third board, fourth board. This board is split, but it did go through. But there's no mark on this, but there's a dent in this board, but no sign of the bullet. There it is 9mm Luger bullet. 
So, 9mm Luger blows through 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 boards. For sake of comparison, I'll now test a 45 Colt loaded with standard 45 lead bullets. Forty-five coat went through one board, two board, three board, four boards. Fifth board stopped it. Here it is. So now you know how many inches of wood your self-defense round in one of those calibers will penetrate. The U.S. Army in 1860 tested on cadavers and animals such as cattle and horses the penetration power of handgun and rifle ammunition at the time. They determined any bullet that will penetrate three quarters of an inch of pine wood could be expected to provide a mortal wound. So just penetrating the first bullet board potentially can kill an, an attacker. But obviously, for more energy your projectile has, the greater the odds of producing a lethal wound and probably stopping your opponent. I hope you found this little demonstration useful. Uh, take it for what it's worth. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Uh, please like. If you want to see more like it, subscribe. Uh, likewise, consider becoming a Patreon supporter. A link to my Patreon page is posted below in details. Thank you.